Welcome to this series of videos, where we delve into the comprehensive features of the EP Tracer system for CSP procedures. In today's video, we'll guide you through the software key elements, primary features, along with some insightful tricks and important information. Let's get started. Welcome to the primary interface of the EP Tracer software. In this central hub, you can effortlessly locate the signals at the center of the screen, ensuring a clear focus on crucial data. To the right, you'll find intuitive controls for the stimulator, offering convenient access and efficient management. Adjacent to the stimulator controls is the intervention log providing a chronological record of the procedure for comprehensive documentation. Just below the signals, a range of visualization modes is available, enhancing flexibility and adaptability to various preferences. In the lower section of the screen, you'll discover the patient data displayed. Additionally, toggles for notch filters and storage activation are conveniently positioned. Before the intervention starts, it is crucial to input the patient data for a comprehensive intervention documentation. Click on the No Patient button to enter relevant details. If anonymity is preferred, simply input a unique identifier for the study number. As the intervention commences, initiate the recording process by either clicking the storage button on the screen or pressing the letter R on the keyboard. During the procedure, the physician may request specific measurements, and to ensure accuracy, these should be taken in view mode after freezing the signals. To transition from real-time to view mode, click the V button, or press F1. When in view mode, left-click at the desired location, and while holding down the mouse button, Drag the cursor to the appropriate spot to perform the measurement. Once measurements are completed, you have the option to store the calipers in the intervention log if applicable. Alternatively, seamlessly return to real-time mode by clicking the R button on the screen. Throughout the operation, Users have the option to insert comments at various stages of the procedure, facilitating the inclusion of remarks. Accomplished either by selecting the designated button, located in the lower right corner of the screen, or by using the keyboard shortcut F3. Upon activation, a display window will pop up, allowing the input of free-form text. Additionally, there is the option to establish predefined text entries, enhancing the standardization of interventions. Documentation can be further enhanced by incorporating screenshots that visually depict various measurements or illustrate a comparison between the QRS width before and after. Capturing a screenshot is a straightforward process. Just click on the button situated in the lower right corner of the screen to effectively capture and integrate visual elements into the documentation. For optimal signal display, it is recommended to split the screen, featuring a triggered view of a single beat on one side and a real-time view of continuous signals on the other. To achieve this, utilize the button situated in the lower left side of the screen. Once the screen is split, you gain individual control over each segment. Furthermore, you can adjust the space allocated to each split by dragging the divider, providing flexibility in tailoring the display to your preferences. This split-screen setup proves particularly advantageous when assessing timing on the go, 
As the triggered view allows for the setup of calipers for precise evaluations during the intervention. Moreover, the EP Tracer system offers a user defined time measurement function, empowering users to observe multiple time measurements triggered by various events, such as stimulation spike, V1 a wave, or V6 a wave. This feature enhances the system's versatility providing clinicians with a comprehensive toolset to tailor time measurements according to specific procedural requirements. In order to activate these time measurements, simply access the measurements option in the upper menu and then click on user defined time measurement. This will display the different measurements on the lower side of the screen in real time, so that the clinicians can evaluate the difference over a series of beats.